Now, let's talk about basketball. It's all about Nairobi City Thunder. Last season, they went the entire season unbeaten, winning their first ever Premier League in Kenya. Now, they are saying that this time, since they won the league, they are going to take part in the Basketball Africa League. In their debut season, they want to shock the world and put Kenya on the map. Davis Beria paid them a courtesy call in training, and this is what they had to say. A very good afternoon. Yes, we are at Nyayo Indo Arena. And when you talk about the Men's National Basketball League, you'll not cease to talk about the defending champions who are actually Nairobi City Thunder. Nairobi City Thunder are actually getting into the game. And right now, they are actually training ahead of the season that is set to kick off in early October this year. Last year, they won the title for the first time, routing KPA 86-48 in the game three winning the three actually nil against kpa in the uh, best of five final series that was held here remember some of the key players who actually uh, steered uh, nairobi city thunder to winning the title was griffin uh, ligari who actually uh, came in to sunk 17 uh, points and eight rebounds albert odero was one also of the players who came in helping nairobi city thunder and actually Actually going on to emerge as the league's MVP after sink, uh, sinking in uh, game high 19 points. Thunder were awarded 350,000 shillings for emerging the champions. So this uh, time round, they'll be having that pressure of defending the title. And will they be able to defend the title? These are some of the questions that are going to be answered right now. And that means I'll be speaking to some of the players, including the co captain and also the technical bench led by the coach on uh, this welcome on ktn and of course uh, i found you ready and shopping the boys how is the training and how prepared are you ahead of the new season yeah the training's been going well we've had everybody in camp for about a month uh you know we've had new players so obviously there's always challenges integrating new players but i think in the last few days we've really turned a corner and things have been going well of course, uh, your tactical plan has changed because you're bringing in new six, uh, new signings that will make sure Nairobi City Thunder defends the title. How are you making sure these new signings gel with other players who have been there last season? Uh, our training times have extended. We're trying to give guys a lot more reps together. And, uh, and I think we're also trying to run a familiar style to what we've played in the past. So our... Uh, the previous Thunder players uh, are also help, helping to lead the way on just knowing what to do. That means there was a weakness maybe that was running into your team. What was this weakness? Is it uh, the attack, uh, attacking side? Is it the middle pack or is it maybe uh, the defensive side? No, I don't think it's so much uh, um, trying to shore up a weakness. I think it's just adding strength to strength. Yeah. And that means uh, adding strength? going for the Continental Tournament. How are the stakes? Yeah, obviously, uh, I think we really have a goal to be the first ever Kenyan club to make it past the round of the qualifiers. And I think we have our sights set on something even higher. We have a lot of talent in the gym. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone will ask, what were the criteria that you used in identifying all these players that you've signed this season? Yeah, I think we were looking for guys that had played professionally at a high level uh, against good competition. I think we were looking for some, some big men uh, and a point guard. And I think even maybe even more than that, I think we were looking for people who were really solid team basketball players who would be a good fit for our squad. Mm -hmm. And I think, we, I think we found that. The investment that has been put in the team means there is a revolution that is coming in in our basketball league. Talk about quality and talk about uh, uh, the financial uh, growth that has been uh, seen. Does it mean you're giving challenge to your competitors? I think so. Yeah, I, I think obviously last year proved that. You know, to be the first ever Kenyan side to win both the league and the playoffs in an undefeated fashion. Uh, I think, yeah, we raised the stakes for competition. Uh, 
we hear that other teams are are kind of reloading and and that's a good thing you know i've also i've been watching the rwandan finals and you can just see like there's so many good teams in in the league and i think we're we're getting there as as kenya as well we you know i think i was i was telling some coaches the other day i think just in ter terms of sheer talent our league is very underrated it's a very talented league and now i think with um as other teams kind of kind of load up and and as the management of teams kind of increases i think we're going to see um more thunders in our league as well of course seeing more thunders and uh, i'll just have to go back you won the league without dropping any point coach mm -hmm. how easy was this and how hard was this yeah yeah it wasn't easy uh, and at some point it, it became very challenging i think we every time we stepped on the court we felt like we had a target on our back we even had some of our own fans saying we just want to see you guys lose one game to see if it can happen you know so uh yeah so it was very challenging and i think when it was all said and done i think one of the main feelings we all felt was relief you know because we we it took so much you know and we had some close calls equity obviously uh took us down to the wire on a number of occasions um but uh but yeah our guys were played like champions and we and we managed to make it happen coach ahead of the maybe the new season you've uh, played a couple of games including against the kenya all-stars winning against them how does this motivate you heading into the new season yeah i think all of these friendlies right now as much as their motivation they're really about us putting in the work that we need to 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 be careful with details uh to test lineups uh, just to ensure that we're ready for comp like in, uh, continental competition when it comes to that, yeah. You've been in uh, some of the best clubs when you talk about outside Kenya, in Africa, or maybe globally. How can you rate our league and maybe our national team? Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm equipped to, to answer that, um, but I, I think uh, what I, I think I'm very excited for the future of Kenyan basketball. Uh, I just I think there's uh, there is there's a lot of talent uh, wrapped up in Kenya basketball and um, and I think the future is really bright I think another thing is there's an amazing fan base here uh, I think we've just felt the energy in this gym on so many occasions uh, so yeah I think all those things really are you know bode well for for the future of the game here maybe from the uh, stakeholder perspective because you're the coach what needs to be done is it uh, the structure wise or is it maybe the rules to see us joining other basketball powerhouses globally yeah um i think you know i think it's just a matter of like more teams investing and i don't think it's a lot i think there's some teams that are really close but i think just them investing uh in terms of their their players uh, in terms of the management structures uh, just to tighten things up a little bit i think uh obviously we it, it could maybe be done more just to uh to market and uh and uh, give exposure to to the to the teams and to the players, but uh, but I think we're close. I think we're really close to something really special. I will also be speaking to some of the new signings. Talk about Will Davis, who is coming in from the NBA G League side Ignite. Some of the uh, best players who are coming in to bring not just quality but also the stiff competition when it comes to the National Men's uh, Basketball League. Welcome on, KTN. Uh, Will David, just uh, introduce yourself and talk to us. How is Kenya and how is Nairobi City Thunder training? Um, Kenya has been great so far. I haven't seen too much, but this weekend I think I'm going to see more of the country and more of Nairobi. And um, the Nairobi City Thunder has been amazing so far. We've uh, they've taken care of us. They put us in a nice place. We've been practicing really hard. We've gotten to um, know the team, and we're starting to mesh together and uh, become a better team. Curiosity: How did you come to know about Nairobi City Thunder? So. Um, my agent contacted me because one of the partial owners of the team is Steven Domingo and he's someone I've worked out with in the past and he contacted me and um, we talked about it and then also you see he told me that he was coming here as well and me and him are from the same city back in the United States so we were like uh, we should come to the team together and have a good experience making it and uh, making that decision of coming to Kenya from the best leagues in the world the NBA uh, G League some of the grounds that are used by the main NBA to develop and get the talents for the main league what are the stakes maybe that made you be convinced to join Nairobi City Thunder um, just for a chance to uh, play against some high-level talent and of course playing in the BAL 
Um, we want to qualify for that, and that, I know that's backed by the NBA, and that's been an up-and-coming league over the last few years. So um, I just wanted an opportunity to showcase my skills in that league as well. The position that you're playing in uh, power forward is one of the key instruments when it comes to about a team winning. How are you going to work around that? You can enable Nairobi City Thunder to defend the title and make their way into the round of 16 when it comes to Basketball Africa League. Um, I'm just trying to come in and do as, uh, anything I can to win. I want to be strong on defense um, and then as a uh, power forward, I can play inside, I can play outside, and I can guard multiple positions. So I'm just trying to bring in my experience and um, help the team any way I can. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're not the only player who is uh, coming in as a new signing. How are you gelling in with uh, your colleagues, maybe? Um, it, it's been good so far. Um, everybody welcomed me with open arms, and I've been able to get to know each player individually, and it's been a great experience so far. Mm. Maybe before you came into Nairobi City Thunder, is there any player that you are in contact with, or you are following, or maybe you know him? Um, the only person I knew before coming in was UC, just because we're from the same city in uh, Sacramento, California. Let's talk about defending the national title because you're coming in when Nairobi City Thunder have won their first title, and they'll have to, they'll have that pressure of defending it. How are you working on just to see this side emerge as the defending champions and back their second title, and actually makes it? as the big wigs in the national basketball um just from hearing how the league went this past season i saw they went undefeated and then they won the championship so um we have some big shoes to fill but uh we think we can come in and um give everybody a, a good run for their money and i think they've just increased the level and increased the talent on the team so i think um we're looking good right now comparing maybe the quality when you talk about nba and uh, our national basketball league how is the quality maybe if you just have a comparison of the both? Um, the league here, uh, everybody's athletic and I think just the, um, the style of play is a little bit different here. They're a lot more physical and the refs let a little more physicality go. I think back in the NBA G League, they call a little more ticky-tack fouls and I think you can kind of manipulate the system in your favor to get some extra foul calls in here. I think they let you play a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Some of the challenges maybe you faced before joining maybe the club and some of the challenges you're looking forward to overcome? Um, just getting used to the referees a little bit. Uh, they let you play. So things that I normally would think that are, are foul, they let you play through it. So I think I just have to get that in my mindset to play through all contact and um, then I'll be, I'll be fine. Have you maybe tried to research about the opponents you're going to face in the National League? Uh, I have not, I've not did any research yet, but uh, we're going to do some soon for sure. Maybe some of the things you will maybe remember in some of the clubs you played, some of the best moments, not just in Nairobi City Thunder, but other countries you've been in, which is the best moment? Um, I think maybe my first year in the G League, which was 2016, 2017, it was because I feel like as a professional, the teams are usually more business oriented. And I think that team, we were, everybody was friends within the team and it wasn't really just business. We all had like a good, strong bond, good, strong friendship. So it was just one of the, my most fun years as a playing in, as a professional. Have you so far watched the national, uh, Kenya national basketball men's side maybe? Uh, we've, uh, I think they, they've put a couple games in our, um, in our, just our team group message. And then um, I've watched a little bit of the highlights and stuff like that. Thank you so much to all the fans. What can you tell them? Um, come watch us, come support. Uh, we'll put on a show for you guys. <laughs> Remember, Nairobi City Thunder have beefed up their squad by bringing in new six signings. I'm talking about Nigeria point guard, that is Uchena, who has been playing uh, in Qatar. Another player is Senegalese power forward Michael Diof, who is the Europe Cup all-time points leader. And the 35-year-old has featured in Danish side, that is Bakken's Bears from 
2015 to early this year. He played alongside Kenyan international. I'm talking about Tyler Ongwai, who has just uh, talked with us some few minutes ago. And Tyler is joining actually Nairobi City Thunder uh, from the Basketball Africa League campaign. Ongwai is, uh, remember, a full-time Danish defender of the year and Danish MVP finals in 2021. Another player joining Nairobi City Thunder is Eugene Odera, who is coming in from their rivals. I'm talking about Equity Dumas, who actually plays in the national uh, basketball men's side. Another player is Derujo Ngechi, who is uh, the Kenyan international, and that makes it six players who are coming in to ensure Nairobi City Thunder becomes a side that will be able to defend the title. This Saturday, they are playing against uh, South Sudan side. This is a team that actually uh, most of its players live in Kenya. And this match will offer a test for the team uh, to gauge whether they are ready uh, to start com that campaign of defending the title come the season of 2024-2025. Uh, Remember, the league actually is set to kick off early in October this year and the fixtures will be released on Monday or on Tuesday uh, next week. So we shall be waiting to see how things will pan and how Nairobi City Thunder will be actually aiming to come against their rivals and defend the title or bag their second title uh, when it comes to their history. Back to you in studio. Of course, uh, that is Davis Mberia who paid Nairobi City Thunder a call, a rather courtesy call in training where they're saying they want to disrupt the form book and win the Basketball Africa League. Remember, they have, uh, they've added to their roster a number of players who they think will help them win the Basketball Africa League on their debut. Now, let's move away from that. Let's get to some financial.